is it in our nature to want to share our life with someone and grow with them? I'm, yeah. I'm I haven't found it in any other way, whether it's a kind of one-on-one -on -one couple relationship, a family or a group. We are extremely networked beings as humans. A fraction of us are real hermits. Even hermits have their favorite butterfly, you know, flying this way and that. So yeah, we have that natural tendency to form larger entities than just an individual. Should that be a couple, a family or a larger group? And if we feel that we grow in that environment and the other or others can grow with us, i.e. there's mutual help, understanding, then that growth is sustained. It's honest. It's clear. We have to grow. Otherwise, what are we doing here on Earth? Have you kind of considered how paradoxical human life is? That we have this immense view of the past, present, and a little of the future. So we can see 13.7 billion years back in time, and we live a meager 70, 80 years tops. Yeah, 90 if you're in a really good society and you have a good body. And we have this, this flicker for a lifespan and we can fathom so much in time. Isn't that just frustrating? And if you look at human life, how we recycle ourselves, whether you believe in one lifetime or many lifetimes, it actually doesn't matter, but without a certain direction, Without the perspective, we can't grow. That's why we need to have a vision. I invite you to play three very important mind games. One is the game of space. Imagine yourself currently, at this moment, in a parallel universe, on a planet which is identical to Earth, except in one respect. You can be whoever you want to be, in whatever circumstance and environment, including human and natural, without any precondition or consequences. Completely your magic. Whatever you want happens in the way you want it, right now. That's the parallel universe exercise. And then you have that vision, and please put it into your memory bank, put a label on it, like label number one. Next one is the game of time. Imagine yourself on this earth, plus 30 years from now. How would you live? In what environment? In what kind of company? With what kind of growth? What kind of vision realized, you know, in your dreams? And that should be also in your memory bank under label two. The third one is the game of identity. This is the toughest. Imagine yourself, Christine, painlessly transporting your software, your human soul, into a new body and starting your life from scratch, from day one, as an infant, and start to grow again. Would you like that? And put that under label three. And when you're done, put all the three in front of yourself and compare them. Are they similar? Are they radically different? Do they point to the same direction? Or they set themselves apart? The more they are different, the, the less you know yourself. The more similar they are, the better you know yourself. And you can't force it. You can't cheat the game. Because if you really let your mind loose, space-wise, time-wise, and ID-wise, you will see the difference between illusion and reality. Try that. Köszönöm. Szívesen.